Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to Subnautica. We're here about to starve to death on the uh, escape pod. Actually, we are about to starve to death. Do I have any food? I don't have food. Awesome. Um, okay, but we'll deal with that in a second. First, there's a radio signal that came in. Okay, I'm assuming. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. So there's a crap load of that kind of stuff coming in, uh, of uh, just just an, an utter ton of of distress signals coming in. Now this is crucial. This is probably the most important thing I'm going to do in this game. Okay. Data downloads, life pod and transmission origin, life pod six. This is the one that just came in. A distress signal has been received from life pod six, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. I do really like that, how the, um, it's not just a generic life pod photo. It's like photos of where they probably are. Like I could probably get a sense where life pod four is in relation to the Aurora and I'm not in too much of a rush because I'm pretty sure the Leviathan ate them all. Um, crew requested assistance for Life Pod 6. Crew assisted assistance, navigating radiation, sunk to approximately 100 meters, dense red with red grass near a number of natural arches, rock stacks, and things that want to eat them. Uh, 400 meters west northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. Okay. Wait. The fabricator here is different than the other one. Camera drone, scanner room range upgrade, magnetite. I don't know that I've seen magnetite. Silver ore and gold scanner room speed upgrade. That I can do, probably. Okay, so the fabricators are not all the same. That's interesting. New radio update. Again, there must be just backed up. And you're probably dead. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal huh. location uploaded to PDA. Ha ha ha. They said... Regroup one and a half kilometers. So there, life pod 19 is especially interesting because that's a, let me see, life pod 19, because there's so many life pods now. I don't want to go ham on these. I don't care about the camera drones right now. Let's see, life pod 19, second officer Keen's broadcast location. Oh, there. So it's southwest. So it's the opposite direction of... How far southwest? 1,023 meters. Okay. Yeah, it's the opposite direction of... Hmm. Uh, of the Aurora, which is interesting. Uh, let me... You know what? I'm not using these cameras. I should use these cameras. I'm going to test it out for something, because one of the next things I want to do is... Thank you. One of the next things I want to do is check out... No, not even one of the... No, well, yeah, one of the next things I want to do is check out that cave, um, which is... How do I use the camera again? I want to check out that cave. Uh, here we are. Which is to the southwest, I think. Um, I think it's to the southwest. Because this is the cave where... I don't know if I have the range for it. But I'll try it out because, you know, I'm not... If I don't try it out, then there was no point in store, keeping in holding on to this. So this is where my base is going to be. This is where my little oxygen tent is. And this is the cave I wanted to explore. I don't know how long I'll have before 
this gives out before this camera gives out but I figure this is a good way to scout or this might be a potentially a good way to scout just how big this place is on the other hand it could be a bad way to scout I don't know so there's a little platform with presumably stuff I can get in here but I don't know maybe not yeah this is I like this camera for scouting I really do it has more juice than I expected too got a little uh, heat area over there oh we got the bitey toothy boy Not a lot on the ground, which makes sense. It, a lot of it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense for a lot of the wreckage to be nearby here. Oh God! Right. Don't bang into them. What is that? Is that ore of some kind? Maybe. Some kind of new, not titanium, thing. This is... I, I just love the purples here. I wish my friend Rack could see it. I think that they would like it. I mean, maybe they wouldn't like the, the death snakes, but... But even so, quite pretty. We got some stuff over... We got... What is this, a bed? Is this some... This has got to be something loading in, right? Wait, are these... This is weird. This feels like there's a, a structure that's not loading in. Maybe this is a habitat. Okay. I want to be here, so let's actually leave this camera here and use it as a beacon. Okay. Oh, I was just uh, preparing for my next journey out with some food and water, and the radio's blinking again. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. Where is it? Here we are. Waterproof locker. Yeah, it just sits there. It's just extra space. That's awesome. I don't know why I'm surprised by this, but I really thought it was just something for, like, chemicals or something like that. I don't know. So that's good. Ah, yes, there we're going down. The depth, max depth is 200 meters, so hopefully this will be okay. Uh, can we make it without bump... Wait, what? What's going on? Don't bump into stuff. Okay, we're down here. We're doing this. Warning. Maximum depth oh shit, we can't do this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so we're going to leave this here. Hopefully it won't be destroyed. And I guess this will be our little home base that we go come back to. Because uh, this gives us oxygen. So I guess I thought we could go down in that, but no. Right, let's uh, hop in briefly, reoxygenate. This could be a bad mistake. Like the, I don't know if the serpent things are gonna, the the snake things are gonna bite me. Got some peepers down here. Oh, um. Cave bush, okay. We got some cave bush. What else? What is this? Oh, gold. Special equipment is required. Maybe a laser cutter? But I don't need gold right now. So that's not a great sound, if I'm being quite honest about things. 
Whoa. Fire area? There's a fire area. Oh, that's probably going to hurt. It's probably going to burn. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, eventually I'll get like a heat repelling suit or something, but I do not have such a thing yet. Aha! You look lootable. You got green lichen stuff over here? Nothing I can use, nothing I can access. Uh, where's the sea moth? Oh, it's right there. God. Alright, let's keep see if we can go east without getting crushed. We kind of can't. Yeah, we're kind of blocked in. Okay. Let's see how far east we can go. I mean, we probably can go down a little bit and take some damage and then pop up a little bit more, but I don't want to do that. That feels not worth it. And if this is kind of the limit of our ability to explore right now, I mean, I guess I can... I could probably try making a habitat down here in Jelly Shroom Land. But I don't know how I would power it. Because I don't have a... Um, yeah, I don't know how I would power that sort of... Th oh my god, there's so many snakes. I don't know how I would power it. Oh, there's a little thing up here. Um... Yeah, it feels kind of self-contained. I don't know that there's a whole lot to explore up here that's worth looking at in this little shelf thing. Not that I can see, anyway. I mean, there's a crap load of peepers, which is nice. So if I ever need food, I can come here. Wait, did I see uh, something I can... I thought I saw something I could... Uh... No, I have to go back. Oh, gosh, I, I have to... I gotta find a way to, to make this more lasting. I've to, maybe I should bring parts for a habitat down here. Maybe that's a good idea. Really not seeing a whole lot down here that's super notable. A lot of nodes that I can't use. Oh, this is really neat. I didn't notice the... Um, the topography in front of me, I, not in any way I could use, but this is actually, in open water it's not that great, but down in the cave area down here, it's the topography uh, that the sea glider is showing me is actually really nice. Oh, is this a, a different exit? This looks like a different exit. Where is this going to kick me out? These all connect up. These aren't separate caves. This is a whole connected system. So where am I now? The sea moth is that way. Huh. Yeah, this is a whole connected up system. The sounds down here are... are just incredible. Can I... Oh, God! Who, who bit me? Oh, God! F ah! Fucking God! No! 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 Oh, my God! I'm sorry I doubted you. You're scary. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know if I'd seen that before, but if I had, I forgot it. I got too comfortable around the snaky boys. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm done here for now. Um, not because of the, the scare. I'm sure there's scarier things than the place I'm about to go, but it's... I just... I don't know that I'm seeing... 
Lord Captain. Stuff that I can really access right now. Fabricator. Let's make us a... We don't have magnetite. Um, we could make a camera drone because I don't need one. And we don't have magnetite. So let's make... Let's increase the speed of the scanner room just because why not. Uh, so how do I use it? How do I buff up the scanner room? Because I assume this just goes into my inventory, right? Yeah, scanner room. How do I install that? Oh, scanner room upgrades. Beautiful. Wait, no, not beautiful. Is that is that done? I guess it's done. Let's test it out. Show me the wreck. Is and is this accurate in terms of directionally by the way? So like it's coming from here, so if I go south, it's saying that's where the wreck is. Is that right? Am I reading this correctly? Um. Signals recorded, signals recorded, data downloads, transmission, or life pod 7. Um, one kilometer southwest of the Aurora stern section. That's far away. Um. Oh, right, we found a cave bush. A purple luminescent species, which... Something well on hardy terrain away from, probably grows well on hardy terrain away from stun, sunlight. Okay, so I was about to call it for this session, but, and I was even editing the video. But then I noticed that one of the main things I went to explore in the underground habitat is right there on my map. In the underground habitat, in the, um, what's it called? In the east, uh, we're going east. No, we're not going east. Oh, God, that's the Aurora. We're going west. Um, one of the main things I forgot to explore was the camera. I just totally forgot about the camera. Camera 1 is 481 meters away. It's that far away? I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it then. I could certainly try, but that's pretty far. Only one way to find out. The other possibility is that I know there are other entrances to this. I discovered other entrances to this place. So let's see how far we can go down, then we're going to try to get... Okay, I see it. Okay. All right, first off. Um, do I have a repairer? A repair tool. Let's use the repair tool and repair this. No reason for it to stay low. Second, we'll get in here and now we're going. Let's see if we can get there. I don't think we can. I mean, to get we, we have to get there by the time our oxygen is halfway. No, it's more than halfway because if we're going to do any, if we're not just going to tag it and then run back, it has to be more than halfway. Yeah, this is a thing. I just missed this entirely. Oh God. Oh god, there's jelly jellyfish things. Water filtration machine, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Okay, we'll come back here in a second. Oh nope, don't get stuck. Oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. By the way, is it just hit me, is the red the red around my screen, is that danger? Because it, it just flashed red when the snaky boy was uh, attacking me. That's got to mean danger, right? That's got to mean that... Uh-oh. In that case, something was right by me. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't mean danger. 
So it's doable if we don't run into any hiccups, that, that trek. Is there any way to get closer? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. We can get a little bit closer, but not much. But every little bit will help, right? Let's go back. Oh fuck, I saw that. I saw that. I saw you. I saw you coming after me. I saw it coming out of the, the little jelly donut. Maybe, yeah, this is not sustainable. I can't... Oh god, I wasted time. I wasted too much time. Oh fuck, and now I got hit by that thing. No, there's a, a ton of cool stuff in here. I can't... I just can't... Spend time on it. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. I know, I know, I know. I see the red glow. I see the red glow. I'm trying to shake it off my tail. Okay. Yeah. I think this is a fool's errand. Oh, Here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna see if I can... Because that's to the east, right? I'm going to see if we can find the entrance to this thing that's to the east. Because that might be a better better bet. Oxygen. Okay. So the camera is right down there. That's where the base is. 200 meters away from here. I have to find that wreck. Wait, the camera's right down there. Is this an egg? Is this an air? Is this a way to get down there? Boy, that would be way easier than having to make the trip from that other other entrance. This is the way to go, I think. I think we did it. I mean, we did it in the vicinity of Snaky Boys, but I think this is the way to go, at least for. Uh oh, purple. Yeah, the base is right down there. We found it. We did it. We did the thing. I mean, we didn't do it yet. There's still the the maze down there, but this is a great start. This is so much better. Um. Hello. Oh, I I. This is not a red. I thought this was a. We call it a Reginald or a Peeper. Are you food? An I I. Oversized eyeball. What, did, what are you? Let me get to edible. Low calorie count, though. All right, where's my beautiful moth? Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I see you hiding in there. Modification station fragment. I think this is one of the things that I could use to upgrade a thing. Two of them. Stasis rifle. What's that? Is it like a freeze ray? Because that sounds all. We got a we got a stasis rifle. Is this gonna? I think it's gonna give me titanium. Just testing. We got a stasis rifle. This is we are. Boy, am I glad I came here. Multi-purpose room. You don't see me, you don't see me. Fuck, you don't see me. God, it's so close. It seems to like to snuggle into those, uh, into the jelly shrooms. So I should probably not swim directly over that. That seems like a good idea. Okay. Boy, am I glad I came back here. And boy, am I glad... You know, I would never have discovered this if I didn't use the camera to explore in advance. It just... It wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have succeeded. 
Okay, let's see what else we can find. Yeah, it's just it's just waiting there. It's waiting for me to swim atop it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Nope. Ah, damn it. Hopefully it can't come in here. Um. Alright, we got water filtration. That's good. Let's skirt around this. Okay. What else am I looking for here? Is this where I just came from? No, this is somewhere else. A wall planter. Okay. You got a planter and pot. New blueprint acquired. Get the fuck out of here right now. Spotlight, that's fine. Oh shit, I thought that was an exit. Okay, we gotta book it. We gotta book it. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. We're gonna die. Oh, this would be an embarrassing way to die. 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, no, we're okay. I am. I just. I feel like so smart right now. I know I did a super basic thing by finding another entrance, but like, this is the part of the game that feels the best so far, because there was an issue. I think I solved it, and I think I'm. In, I think I'm good. Anything else I can scan that's kind of in? Oh wait, there's a whole top of the habitat. Observatory. place is just a treasure trove. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, fucking god. No thank you, no thank you. Yep, in we go. Wait, no, we can't go in, damn it. Yeah, I really, the more I see this, the more I'm convinced that... The, yeah, the more I see this, the more I'm convinced that the, um, the red is a danger sign. The red means danger, Will Robinson. I don't know what that is, but... Wait, spotlight? Where's the spotlight? I saw a spot... Is that a PDA? Degasi voice log pecking order? There was a spotlight. I saw a spotlight. Hmm. We'll just go in here for another second. Very briefly. Just checking that there's nothing over here. There's starfish on the wall. Okay, this area is free. Nothing there. Okay. Okay, we can go up into that section. We'll go up to that section next. All right, we're going to go up this time. Get up, get up, get up. Don't get stuck. Uh, another PDA. Stalker's teeth. Trophier and follow the Degasi. So that's that Mongolian group, right? Please don't tell me you're going to bite me through the thing. There was another... Oh, Jesus Christ. Spotlight. Oh, that was the spotlight. 
Don't bite me through the thing. Please don't bite me through the thing. Sorry if I'm being super cautious and going up more. Oh my god. Okay, book it. Fucking book it. I don't care. Book it, book it, book it. My health is repairing naturally. Was that always the case? Or maybe is that just with poison? Maybe that's just with poison. I don't think there was anything I missed in here, but again, just doing a double check. Ooh, data box. Never mind. Ultra high capacity tank. This is amazing. Yeah, rural, rural you want, snaky girls. I, I don't, oh my goodness. Oh, ow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It really wants me. It's really hungry for me. It wants this cold run. And who can blame it? Abandoned PDA. Another one. Degasi voice log. Good lord. This place is an utter treasure trove. I will be back one more time. Oh, fuck. I'll be back one more time just to check because I feel like I might have missed something as well. Huh? <gasps> More! Save Abandoned PDA. To PDA! Integrating new PDA data. You gotta be kidding me. Integrating new PDA data. I am the greatest I am the greatest subnautic in that the world has ever seen. I, I I wonder what it's like to watch this video and bask in my presence. Is it like watching LeBron James play basketball for the first time? Must be a little bit like that, right? Just in awe of someone in their element. Um, okay, how do I not die? Ooh, moon pool fragment. I don't know what a moon pool is, but I have half of the fragments I need, I guess. Oh, God. Oh god, um, she woke up, she's mad. Pick up camera drone. Maybe I'll pick up my camera drone, because I don't know that I... Yeah, let me pick up my camera drone. You've done good work, camera drone. Modification station fragment. No, that was the last piece. Oh. I'm so excited right now. I feel like the greatest person on the planet. Not even player. I feel like the greatest person. Stasis rifle fragment. I think I'm good on that. Yeah, that's right. Just titanium. Oh, God. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nope, 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 nope. Just don't, don't worry about me. Nope, go back to your little, go your little uh, jelly. Oh, God. Oh, fucking God! I'm sorry, I'm so Fuck! No! 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 Not now, not like this. Oh. God, I'm sorry, sorry about the... I don't generally squeal. In most circumstances that I can talk about, anyway. I just, it feels like every time I say one more sh one more time I'll take another look, it, there's like seven more things I find, so... I hope you'll forgive me for continuing to look. I think we found the, all we can for the modification station fragment, right? Yeah. Magnetite? It's not new, so I guess we've seen it. Lithium is down here, okay. But that was... 
I don't remember getting magnetite. Maybe I got... Maybe I got magnetite previously from the... Um, from the cave by the... Okay, 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 okay. Good point. Maybe I got magnetite previously in the cave by the thing. I'm not making... I'm just... I'm in a great mood right now. I can't say words. In the cave by the um, alien defense force thing. And something I appreciate about this game so far is that it seems like it's built in a fair amount of redundancy. Like, if I miss something in one place, it seems like it's going to give me the option to scan it somewhere else, which I re which is really nice. I'm sure that's not always the case, but at least for a lot of the stuff, it is the case. Oh, damn it. Okay, here we go. Fuck. It was right there. Oh, God. I'm, am I, please don't let me die now. Not like this. Don't grab me. Do not grab me. <sighs> That's my sign to leave. But please let me know if I missed anything of uh, down here. But I feel like I got the majority of stuff. Let's go back to back home and read it. Read about it. All right. Whoa! What happened? Is it... Is, what happened? Why is it damaged? It just... I just got hurt badly. I don't know how. But maybe... Maybe when it's... If it gets damaged but it's not broken, can it still hurt me? God. Stasis rifle. Freezes physical objects in place. That sounds ridiculously good. I have one magnetite, but that's all. So that's going to be... I'll need to find more magnetite the type before I can make that. But that sounds really good. Um, also, I can make the prawn suit. I forgot about that. I need diamond, enamel... Yeah, so a lot of this stuff I don't have right now, but I'll keep an eye out for it. Um, but it sounds like that might come later. I'm not super worried about getting this immediately. Thermoblade cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. This is just a straight-up upgrade to the survival knife. Unless it runs on, no, it, I mean, it needs a battery to make it, but does it, need, does it need a battery to run it? Because that could be great. That could just make you be able to grab a peeper and have that be that. High capacity O2 tank, lightweight high capacity. I need lithium for that. Um, but even the, these are all modification station stuff. So I need a modification station, but I think now I can make one. Repulsion cannon. We got multi-purpose room, a basic room in which to install a range of different components. Only six titanium, so that sounds like a good, just a good general room. Um, moon pool, ingredients unknown. So I've, I found one part of the moon pool, I need to find the second one. I don't know what a moon pool is. Observatory. Why is the name moon pool familiar to me? Observatory, compartment with 360-degree views and very low structural integrity. Not super great. I've been looking through the past notes to see if there's anything familiar. It might just be like, I might be mixing this up with a different game, but the term moon pool... I, I, you know what I'm probably thinking of? I'm probably thinking of the moon wells from World of Warcraft. I, that's probably what I'm thinking of. Um, Let's check this out. Water filtration system turns seawater into water and salt. I don't... This sounds like it could be incredible. Like, I could, it could make me no longer have to rely on bladder fish. And not on bladder... Because I don't rely on them much anymore, except for a quick fix of water. Usually I just go for bleach um, these days uh, to make the, the, the super clean water. But... I don't know. I'm curious what, how I get sea. Like, could I just? Is this just infinite water? 
That would be amazing, but that also seems unlikely. Bioreactor composed uh, organic matter to electrical energy. So my friend Zizi was telling me about, I think she mentioned that this is a thing you just basically shove any items in it, but it's super inefficient. Nuclear reactor sounds intriguing. This sounds very intriguing. And alien containment. Emergency power. Modification station. Advanced fabricate for modifications. This sounds like a hot indoor grow bed. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Why, when, what determines when something appears? I get that if I find one blueprint and I need more, it shows up as like one out of three or whatever. What determines when you get, when it's something shows up as zero out of one? Is it determined if you're supposed to have access to it already? or something else. I don't know. Oh, and wall planter. Purely decorational. Okay. Do I have any diamonds? I know where to get them if I don't. Or at least I don't know how to get back there, but I know I know that place. I don't think I have any right now. Blueprints. Stasis rifle. The stasis rifle uses patented technology to slow time around an entity as near to a full stop as the laws of physics will permit, essentially anchoring the target in place without affecting its internal workings. It's designed to facilitate scientific and engineering operations by expanding the window of opportunity for action in time-sensitive scenarios. So it doesn't kill, but it stops. Common applications include... Wait, independent replaceable power cell and the trigger may be held down to increase the area of effect and duration okay so you can either do like a quick thing but or or blast um slowing fast moving mechanisms such as fan belts to facilitate maintenance operations temporarily incapacitating organisms for research purposes Oh, so you can like stun something and then scan it if it was going to be bitey with you. Good, good, good. Navigating perilous spaces by freezing potential threats. I'm going to have to, may not function on larger life forms yet, so it probably won't work on Leviathans, but I'm going to try, if I get this, I'm going to test it around. Um, moon pool. Oh, it actually tells me what a moon pool is here. Moon pool is an essential module for long-term exploration, really. Its primary function is as a dry dock for small vehicles such as the sea moth and prawn suit. A dry dock. Why do I need a dry dock when I could just leave it? Is it safe maybe? Like you can drop it in, drop your drop your sea moth in there and it'll be protected rather than just leaving it to float in the water and be eaten. The large central chamber possesses contains a, a pressurized pool which provides ready access to the surrounding waters. And comes as a standard with equipment for raising and recharging a vehicle. There, there's my answer. When outfitted with a vehicle modification station, the moon pool can be used to build and equip vehicle. This is okay. So this is a really core thing, the moon pool. Um, okay. Yep. This is big. Planters and pots. Oh, interior planters come in a variety of configurations and allow for most plant species to be grown in small numbers. For decorative or botanical use, spotlight, draws electricity from main power. I don't know when I'd ever use this, but maybe. Water filtration system. Okay. The filtration system draws water unfit for human consumption from an external source, atomically splits it into its constituent parts, and outputs consumable liquid water and salts while disposing of any harmful byproduct. It can be built in any compatible habitat module, but has substantial power requirements. Okay, so it's not going to be something I can put in. It, it's going to be something I want to put in like, I don't even, because I wonder if the, um, if it can even be used with a solar panel or if it needs like a bio, bio reactor sounds super inefficient. So I wonder if it need nuclear to use this, but this sounds incredibly good. The Altera water filtration system, any liquid into pure refreshing pH balanced water? Yes, sir. Any liquid. Oh, Okay, so basically it doubles as a toilet. That's great. Data downloads. We got a bunch of these. Degasi survivors. So this had to, that had to be a Degasi base. What were the Mongolians doing at the bottom of the in in Snakey Land in Jelly Snake Land? 
Bart Togazi, Bart Torgal's log, ah, Bart, the most famous of uh, Mon traditional of Mongolian names. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Why are you excited about that Certainly, part? Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. Mm. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. <laughs> it's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. So I should have read this first because I eventually figured this out by swimming close to the uh, jelly shrooms and finding that that was when I got attacked, but this would have cleared that up earlier. Bart Torgel sounds like a great guy. Log number two, stalker teeth. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. That's how we make enameled glass. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me, more than I can say for father, and I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. Huh. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But... Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Okay, so there's a lot to take away from this. That the, yeah, about where to get, so stalker teeth, you can use that new heat blade if I make a modification station and upgrade it. And you can use that heat blade to just rip them out of the stalker's mouth. But I know we've also seen them on the ground, like in the grassy areas. The Gossi voice log. Oh, that's uh, that's Bart Torgel's log number two. Uh, let's do yeah, let's do let's do Paul Torgel because that's probably the dad, right? You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here, and she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head. 500 she meters. If she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Made her think she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. Mm. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida 
is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Out of the... oh. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. The Cyclops is a there submarine! There anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> So the lithium is going to be important, and there's a lot of lithium down in those caves. Okay. Also, yeah, so this guy is like a major business dude. Um, Degasi, log, voice log number five. So presumably there's like Paul Torgel number one somewhere. Degasi, and the fact that there's so many that it's not like that there's Degasi voice log number one, two, three, and four somewhere tells me that it's not just me. I'm not just missing something obvious here. Um, like, I wasn't missing just a lot, a bunch of those things down there. I might have been. Let me know if I, if I was missing any, and I'll head back down there. But um, I think those are going to be somewhere else. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy... Why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Especially in this world. We're already 200 meters below deeper. sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning. Real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something huh. that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I've an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. So they found something on the scanner that's going far deeper down. Okay. I am out of time for now. That's going to be it for now for this session. This was super great. This was quite a session. This is probably my favorite session this whole time. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.